What's up? It's time for another movie review thing. Just on a side note, I said I was going to do a video a day. I realised that no one really wants to see 366 videos of me. I don't want to make 366 videos of me. Like, no, I do, but I think in the interest of streamlining this in a way that I will do maybe, I want to go and do two a week. This week I've slack ass and I'm just going to do six in one go, which probably isn't the best way to do things, but you know what? That's how I'm doing it this week. Um, hopefully in time I will eventually try and do maybe one every three and then maybe in the middle I'll actually do a normal vlog about myself so yeah but that's how things are going to go at the moment um well I don't know so tell me what you think if you really want to see 366 videos of me or we're probably close to about 350 odd now tell me I'm happy to do it if someone's actually going to watch them all but you know not exactly sitting the world a lot in views or whatever, but that's okay, happy to do it, just gonna cut it down, save myself some time. Also, I am going away this week, so I will be able to watch movies and not post and upload. Anyway, um, back to reviewing movies, what we're here for. Um, first movie that we did, was actually last Sunday, where we went to see Sherlock Holmes in the cinema, the new one, Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. Um, I haven't seen the first one, admittedly, so I was a little bit unaware of how this movie would be structured. Um, but I think knowing, seeing other Sherlock Holmes things, reading some of the books, um, seeing the TV series, I kind of half knew what it was about and kind of 30% knew what to expect. All in all, I wasn't overly impressed with this movie. Um... It, I don't know. I think a lot of the the concept in it about, you know, it could have been this big epic where this guy was trying to take over the world, but in the end he was just trying to make money, which is what everyone's really trying to do, um, which was a little bit disappointing. Um, another thing, were a couple of the fight scenes were, you saw them twice almost. He thought them in his head and then, you know, it happened exactly as it, or, you know, bits of it happened. And I thought that was a bit, Silly, I might, I mean, alright, he's a genius and all, but can he really see into the future? I thought it was a bit flawed. I thought he was just acted so pompous. And I know that the genius that Sherlock Holmes is portrayed to be, that's how it's acted. But I don't see that. I didn't see him as a likeable character at all. I saw everything he did was selfish. I, you know, I saw Watson as a very likeable character, Jude Law. Um, he was very good in it. And, you know, you saw, you felt sympathy for him when Holmes did things. But Sherlock Holmes was just a dick. I like Robert Downey Jr., but in this movie, it's just he—he he just didn't look like someone I'd enjoy to be around. Like, I don't see why Watson spends time with him. I don't see any of that. And maybe this is just me. I'm not a big fan of the Sherlock Holmes thing, and you know, I might not have just got it. Maybe you know that's what's going to happen in movies like this. But that was my opinion of it. I wasn't really a fan, and so Sherlock Holmes, I give six out of ten. Not terrible. You know, Sunday night, nothing to do. Good movie to watch. Wasn't fantastic. Not complaining. Nice, you know, it was good to go out with mates. Popcorn, the whole shebang. But, yeah. Um, okay, on to the second movie, Goodfellas. This is one of my favourite movies. I love Goodfellas. I love... What's that actor's name? Oh, he was in Grand Theft Auto. Oh, my God, I can't believe I've forgotten his name. Um... It'll come to me. 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 Come on. Um, anyway, I love this movie. It's one of my favourites. I mean, Robert De Niro, um, Joe Pesci, Ray Liotta. That's the one. Sorry about that. Um, Ray Liotta. Yeah, fantastic thing. And I love the development of the characters that goes through. He starts off as a child and he goes through his teen years and he progresses up the ranks. And me used to, I used to have a big thing about the mafia. I used to love it, like I was obsessed. It was a bit weird, actually. But um, you know, to see that he couldn't go past a certain point and how it actually works, and having that little bit of a background knowledge, you could see the inner workings of it to a point. And you just, I, I felt that I understood the movie really well. I liked, you know, the characters in it. There was good characters. I think Ray Liotta um, stayed, his character stayed very. Um, 
sympathetic. You felt sorry for him when he started to, when his life started to fall apart, you know, through drugs and through drug dealing, and it showed a natural progression. And um, yeah, I think the a really interesting thing about this was it was actually based on a true story, which is another. I love movies that are based on a true story. It's just fantastic. You know, the there are some scenes like, do I amuse you? Is that what I'm here for? To humour you? And just that massive joke. That's my humour. That's what I do. I'll just make a joke really serious and then just laugh about it. People will be like, what? So, yeah. I love this movie. I can't recommend it enough. I think, you know, um, another movie to go with that one is Casino. You have to see Goodfellas and Casino. Two fantastic movies. Anyway, um, yeah. I don't think there's much more I can say about it. I love that movie. I recommend you go see that re movie. I recommend you see that movie 20 times. Fantastic. I'm going to give it a 9.89. I can't give it a 10. It's not the best movie I've ever seen. Oh, it's so close. But So 9.89, just because I'm a dick, it's not going to be 10. But you can round it up if you like to do that. Um, next one, Air Force One. This is more your typical action flick. You know how you want... It's, it's your action flick. About the president and the plane Air Force One. Terrorists take over the plane. The former army president retakes the plane. There's patriotic, there's gunfights, you know, there's fire, there's explosions, there's a betrayal at the end. It's everything you expect from a... It's a generic action film. But what I do like about it is it highlights some problems that are actually prevalent in the real world. Um, at the start, the um, president... Um, I can't remember his name. It was played by Harry Ford. Well, what's his name? Anyway, um, he makes a speech and um, he uses some quite, he makes some quite good points and um, I'm not going to give away what he says or whatever, you can see that movie if you choose to, but it is actually quite prevalent in today's society, what he says and situations. I think maybe not so much, it was made in about 1990, so it was probably more Cold War era. So it was more dealt with Russia. I think if they remade it now, he'd probably be dealing with a, a probably a Middle Eastern country because that's where the problem seems to lie. But I think you can translate some of the views there to the, to now and how America seems to deal with things. It also showed, you know, while a generic action movie, it showed some interesting things about, you know, cons um, fallback plans like for the president who becomes in charge. So, while not a cinematic masterpiece, it's actually quite well done, and it does what it's supposed to do. It's a generic action film. Um, I give this one probably a 7 out of 10. It's good, not great, you know, solid B. I'd go watch it, you know, I'm bored, nothing to do, I'll watch that movie. Good movie, I recommend it, if you like that kind of thing.